How's it going, everybody? It's me, Willie Eckloth. Today, we're going to go over the MIDI mapping that I used in my last video. And it's been a long time coming. Thanks for waiting, and thanks for tuning into this video. So let's get started. We're going to start with this quadrant right here. Um, the beat pads doo -doo -doo, and how I MIDI map those. So go into your Ableton and enter MIDI mapping mode, which is right there up in the top right hand corner. And you can see I've already MIDI mapped everything. Um, I've already got it set out, but I'm going to delete all of it and redo it so you can see it. Okay, so right here is where the keys are and you click you simply click on the top one and this is the record loop thing okay so there's beat that's the second one and then click up here under bass and that one so what that does is is it allows you to record and then when you hit that again it will close the loop click on your back vocal one and that's vocal one and back vocal two right there because there's only eight pads i kind of split it up into three three channels and then the fourth one i have two separate back vocals um so now let's go to these bottom three on the these main channels and do the stops so stop for the keys and then you just hit the button, stop for the beat, and then you just hit that button, stop for the bass. So what that does is it allows you to stop the clip that's being triggered at any time. So I'll show you exit MIDI mapping mode and I can show you. So that, I already have something recorded, so it's playing. Um, and then you can stop it right there. And same with the beat. Um, and the bass. So yeah. Um, so that's kind of a basic loadout of this. And obviously the vocals as well. I don't know what I have recorded under there. Oh, I haven't mapped out those yet. Okay, so we'll do that now. Go back into MIDI mapping. And we'll go over to... We'll do the faders next. This one right here is for keys, so click right there and just jiggle that. Click on the beat and jiggle that. Click on the bass, volume, and jiggle that. Backing one, jiggle. Backing two, jiggle. Cool, simple. Um, now exit out of MIDI mapping, and you'll see that um, you're in control of these volume, volume faders now. So now you have some good control of what's going on. Um, I don't have a stop, unfortunately, for those vocals, so I just have to click it. Um, or if I'm playing live, I usually just fade them all the way down. And that does the same thing. So let's move over here um, to the transport. I don't use it as a transport, necessarily. I use it to arm enable each of these tracks so arm the keys uh the beat the bass and the voice um so let's go into midi mapping mode um, and click the arm enable button at the bottom of the keys track and just hit that and then go along the bottom the beat the bass and the voice the vox and i just enable both of those uh, right here um, for the voice and I'll show you so I I exit out of MIDI mapping and if I hit voice both of those become enabled uh, yeah that's basically it for um, and then for MIDI mapping which is what I wanted to really go over this time and next video I want to go over kind of workflow and using this setup so that's what's going on um, next time I'll go over some of the workflow and uh, some of the things I like to practice to keep a good loop going um, and keeping people interested as they listen. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in again. 
I'm Willie Eckloff, and 